hello and welcome to my youtube channel always vfx this is my 50th video on my youtube channel and i thought uh, to do something different instead of the regular stuff so i have created something called the conveyor belt where the luggage will scan and it will show the the contents inside contents of the bag on the tv screen so let's see how i have done and everything this is in powerpoint so if i just click start you see this one the wheels are rotating the bags goes inside and you can see the contents of the bag inside here and then they will the conveyor belt will stop so this is i have created like atmosphere of a uh, airport where you can see the outside from the window with the plane is flying and all the clouds etc so everything it's in powerpoint so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do this one and so without wasting much time let's start apart from the conveyor belt i did something else as well where i'm not going to show you the tutorial but you can apply the same uh, knowledge and you can do as many things uh, like this for example uh, say this is uh, the luggage or any uh, stuff which is coming from this uh, side and it will fall through the belt and then it goes to the next one so something like this yeah so it's uh, the same technique I have used and you can think of a lot of uh, ideas like this all right now let's start the tutorial with uh, creating the wheel or the gear so go to new slide insert select shapes and uh, stars and banners select the 12 point star and draw the star while holding the shift key so that you'll get the equal size the length and the width and then you can just make it somewhat drag inside and then i'm going to add the oval shape and i'm going to place the oval shape on top of the star and make sure that it is aligns sorry align center and align middle and then i can just go to merge shape i can simply say subtract here all right i can just increase the size if i need further let me just see how it look like again select both the objects align center align middle and then subtract so it will the wheel something looks like this all right and i can just remove the outline again i can use something like this which is i insert i'm going to add one more oval shape insert shapes select oval and draw the oval with equal size and width make it no outline and you can say shape fill as wide and just bring it on top and make sure that you align center and align middle again i'm going to add one more which is making it smaller one and i'm going to give a different color again align center align middle so this color also i'm just going to make it something like that so if you see here now my wheel is ready i can just merge shapes and group it right mouse click and i can simply group it so my wheel is ready now right if i give the animation the animation will look like this add animation say spin clear okay now so wheels are ready now there's a different ways also creating the wheels but i just show you the simplest and the easiest way of uh, creating the wheel now i'm going to create a conveyor belt which is this shape now so let me just put this aside and go to insert select shapes and select this rounded corner rectangle maybe this size and just make it something like this all right maybe we can reduce the size and i can give same some gray color 
and right mouse click go to format shape under effects say 3d format i'm just going to select something which is uh, maybe this one all right so you got the the 3d effect here all right and then i'm going to create one more rounded round corner rectangle maybe this size i will make it some dark color and shape fill as no fill and i'll bring it here all right something which is like this now i'm just going to place the wheels here reduce the size so that it will fit it here and just say format bring to front this size maybe this not the size the color i will just give some light color so that the wheel is visible all right and then just bring it here similarly i'm just going to put uh, total four wheels here two here and two the other side press ctrl d and something like this okay so if you see here i'll just go to animation animation pane so this should happen at the click of a button and with previous so i'm just selecting all right now you can just select all right mouse click effect options you can say uh, it has to uh, rotate 360 degrees clock clockwise and the timing i'll make it uh, uh, very slow so that it should not move uh, spin fast or i can make it slow maybe very slow it's okay and repeat i want that to them to repeat it's uh, twice and just say okay now all right so our conveyor belt, the one part is almost ready now. So let's start with doing the, the next one. I'm going to add some legs here for that uh, insert shapes and I can select something which is maybe, maybe, maybe we can use, yeah, all right. And I can say no outline and shape fill some dark color and just bring it here one more reduce the size and bring the other side press ctrl d and all right and then i'm going to add one more rectangle which is something here like this yeah and everything i'm just pulling it down so that i have space to play around and this also i'm making as no outline and shape will be some darker shape all right and then you can use some more stuff all right where I can just simply again add some more like this some lines and no outline this side as well alright Just uh, spend some time in uh, doing the alignment and for this I'm just going to give some shadow effect maybe this side like this okay and for this two as well if you want you can give some shadow effect okay now it's time to 
uh, create the screen right which the screen will be here for that I'm going to create this again I'm selecting this uh, manual operation under the flow chart and let me just and make it flip vertical and then select rounded corner so I'm just going to add the screen here okay shape outline I'll just give some dark colors and fill effect will be something like this So if you see here our design is almost ready now let me just bring this down this also some dark colors let me reduce the size of the screen this is way big so maybe this is enough and this one again I'll make it as no outline right so something it will look like this okay now I'm going to create a, a bag okay to create the bag for that I'm going to use insert shapes and I'm going to select the shape which is say uh, this one rectangle top corner surrounded and just make something like a looks like a bag shape and all right and then i'm going to use the handles to use the handles i'm going to use this one the block arc all right just put it here again no outline for this also no outline and you can just give some designs if you want so let me just increase the size yes all right so I'm just going to add some shapes to the bag. And no outline. And give some different color here. Maybe I'll use, maybe this is a ladies bag. So for that I'm going to use something called pink. Okay. Adjust it properly and this color also I'm just going to use more fill color something like this this also I'll use the dark pink all right now select everything the bags and then group it all right so our bag is ready now so we just need to put inside the conveyor belt all right so I have just created some more stands here if you see here for that also I can simply use this shape which is uh, the free form shape I can just all right and then you can increase the weight of that one you can just copy and paste this side and you can rotate it all right now it's time to add the animation effect on the back for that I'm going to use animation go to add animation and select go down motion paths okay so instead of going down I want this back to go this side and till here Alright, like this. 
so if I go to the animation pane this should happen after previous and it should be timing should be very slow maybe I'll just say 10 seconds and let me just make somewhat up and I will say send to back all right so if you see here instead of saying after previous I will say with previous only but I will delay for say two seconds so let's play now So the bag goes inside and comes and stop the other side all right so this also i will just make it down clear so instead of two seconds let me make it one second also let me just bring it somewhat down yes okay now I have to once the back comes here I want the contents to be displayed on the the TV screen so how to do that one for example first of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a duplicate of this bag all right and I'm going to here format I will simply say as no fill and shape outline and I will give some dark outlines here can you see so, and then I will put some stuff inside looks like something maybe a mobile phone or some other stuff again make it no fill I'll just slightly bend it and I will put inside so that it looks like something some content some stuff is inside the bag maybe something like this all right and then I will just simply group this one so what I'm going to do now again I'm going to do the add animation for this as well so this should go together here like this I'll reduce the size maybe yeah this much so it should go like this at the same time so the moment it enters this also should enter from here so that's the animation we need to do now for this so for I'm going to add animations again so I'm going to add the animation on this one go to animation add animation and again go down select the path and instead of going down it should make to the left side so it should be till here all right just make it a straight line All right. Yeah. So this will also happen with previous maybe the timing is again I'm just going to make it same 10 seconds and the delay is of say let it put one second and we'll see how it look like if not we have to just do it again. Alright, I think this is uh, perfect. Let me just play again. Maybe some small light delay here. So this one I will just move a little bit this point and let's play now. I think still. So actually it should happen at the same time. Yes. 
I think this is perfect. The only thing is this bag is visible here, so doesn't look good. For that, we'll do simple trick. I'm just going to add shape and add one white patch on top of that. Make it no outline and shape fill will be white. Similarly, I'll just copy this one and paste it the other side. Okay, now let's spray. Yes, so this one should be some more gap should not be there. Yeah. Yes, can you see that? So it's playing perfectly all right. Okay. I'm just going to add some background here for that. Go to insert shapes and select a rectangle and make it as no outline. Give some different color and send it back. All right. And then you can add some window panes like this somewhat darker color and no outline all right and you can just simply control d and you can increase the size and press one more and add at the bottom send to back all right this also send back this as well send back so our final slide looks like this the bags goes inside the contents are visible on the screen and comes out and the conveyor belt stops so and apart from that one you can add some objects uh, at the background like clouds and planes uh, something like that you can uh, it's up to you to use your creativity and add few stuff on this slide i hope uh, this presentation or this tutorial will increase your knowledge in powerpoint and you can apply in various uh, other slides as well so that's it from me friends uh, see you soon with more interesting stuff Till then, goodbye and please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel always VFX. Thank you very much.